mammography as a suboptimal test. A hospital spends a million dollars on this mammogram machine, so they want their return on their investment. Mammogram can miss up to 40 to 60 percent of breast cancer. It misses cancers that we wish it would find. Half of all cancers that actually exist. It finds some cancers that we call overdiagnosis cancers. From a mammogram, they, they found calcification and said I had DCIS, so then I had the mastectomy. Radiology and radiation, you know, that it comes with a price. I work together with the radiologists uh, and I saw how often the results were wrong. We know that mammograms don't work. The information has not been full and fully disclosed. There's massive disinformation campaigns. The drug companies actually hire writers to create disinformation. A lot of the, the research data, a lot of the professional articles have been manipulated for the sake of money. Years ago, mammography was not regulated. The FDA stepped in and set guidelines. If we know that an FDA guy now is one of the corporate people over on one some drug company's board, what is that telling you? It's telling you a lot. The docs are being paid by the pharmaceutical companies, so it's just absolute conflict of interest. Why do we need to radiate women first and then we do a more accurate test. That's why all these, what all these docs hide behind. It's not the standard protocol. They are covered from a lawsuit. That's why we have people doing tests that aren't needed and um, you know, covering all their bases. We believe that patients are supposed to have a choice. It's my body, it's my health, it's my life. I don't look at myself because it's so ugly, but it's done so there we go. We need better tests. We need a better test.